hi, uh, my name is Amira Goma from Egypt. Uh, I am a member of uh, Genetic Mechanism of Fungal Adaptation of Space Conditions uh, project this year with Marta and Andre. Extraterrestrial fungi. Our project is working on fungi adaptation towards different uh, space conditions. Our work is under uh, the fields of astrobiology and astromycology, which can answer the question, is there life outside the Earth? Astrobiology or exobiology, as it used to be known, uh, is uh, the science of learning about the life outside the Earth. Astromycology is the mixing between uh, space science and mycology, which is studying fungi. Fungi always seem to find a way to adapt, even it's uh, in nuclear uh, reactor explosion, as scientists uh, discovered that uh, black fungi could uh, survive in, uh, in a nuclear reactor explosion. And even if it's in uh, ice age, it has very high, uh, high morphological uh, plasticity, which can switch from filaments to unicellular in uh, different chemical and physiological conditions. Also, it can change its gene expression and it can change its composition of cell membrane. Uh, we work on uh, many parameters in this project, like temperature, uh, microgravity, water activity, salinity, and uh, regular exposure. But today, I'm gonna talk only about salinity and regular exposure. <coughs> The first one is salinity. Fungus have a variety of uh, ranges of salinity tol tolerance from Horia orinca, which can grow without salt and also can grow in saturated solution, to Wilmia ectophagia, which cannot grow, th grow without salt. Eritium reprum is one of few fungus species that could uh, survive in uh, Dead Sea, which is one of the most hypersaline environment in the Earth. Uh, it uh, contain uh, a lot of uh, salted uh, solution, uh, salted salt, uh, soluted salt like uh, magnesium, uh, potassium, and sodium. Its salinity level is up to 348 gram per liter, and its water activity is less than 0.6, which is lesser than the water activity of the saturated solution, uh, which is 0.7. Uh, saturated solution is the partial pressure of water vapor correlated to uh, with the ability to uh, support microorganisms. Uh, anyway, if you didn't get uh, the water activity, Sena is going to talk about this topic today. Cryomyces antarctus. Uh, this species, and remember this name, one of uh, black fungi species. It can survive in bare chlorate uh, concentration. Bare chlorate is a critical chemical hazard for uh, life forms. It can survive in bare chlorate for different concentration from five millimeter to 200 millimeter. Although the growth is uh, decreased up to 60%. As we talk about different species and uh, uh, their uh, adaptability due to salinity, we have to talk about high osmolality glycerol or HOG pathway, which is the process of adaptation or the mechanism of adaptation of fungi towards the salinity. Uh, in a nutshell, it's uh, the process of accumulation glycerol inside the cell in order to uh, prevent or decrease the, uh, the water loss. At the beginning, when the salinity in the outside environment increase, the cell start to lose water. In order to stop that, the cell have to do a lot of intercellular activities, such as regulate metabolism, production of osmolites, uh, such as amino acids, ions, and glycerol. Glycerol is the most important one. Regulate the transcription of STL1 sugar transporter-like protein, which is responsible of glycerol accumulation inside the cell by importing it from outside uh, the outside environment. This pathway is much longer, uh, but I only have three to four minutes for each parameter to talk. That's why I added the, uh, the reference at the bottom of this slide, if anybody wanna to have a look about the whole pathway. The second uh, parameter is regulus exposition. What is regulus? Regulus is uh, simply uh, the outer uh, phase of uh, 
of rocks or uh, it can be like a volcanic uh, glass or uh, the dust uh, in the uh, in the surface of uh, the rocks we have many types like earth regulus uh, it's like soil volcanic ash ground water and biota uh, lunar regulus uh, which covered all the moon surface and martian regulus which is um, the the red dust that uh, cover the Mars, uh, the fine, it's very fine dust that give the Mars its red color. Why it is important for uh, astromycology? Uh, it's important in general as it can give good insights about the, the condition and also it can be uh, used as uh, simulant. And recently, they start to produce regular stimulant uh, for Martian and lunar, as it's not accessible for most of the researchers and scientists to just uh, go to Mars or go to Moon to uh, apply their experiment. So they uh, used regular stimulant instead. Simulate space, uh, space conditions. Uh, as we talk about simulant, so we're gonna speak a little about uh, uh, simulate space conditions. The biology of uh, and the Mars exper experiment is one of the most important uh, simulation experiments. At first, at the beginning, let me just talk about Cryomyces uh, anthracis. It's a black fungi species. Black fungi uh, known as uh, as black uh, in order to they uh, contain a lot of uh, melanin pigment. The melanin, melanin pigment is the pigment that gives us our colors. It's even in humans give us the different skin colors. So uh, melanin in uh, Cryomyces anthracis is responsible for the uh, the gamma ray absorption. It helps it to uh, absorb gamma ray and convert it into chemical uh, energy. It's like photosynthesis, but in a dark way, which uh, make them call it uh, uh, a radio synthesis. The substrata of this uh, experiment is uh, extract, uh, uh, multi, uh, extract agar uh, mixed in uh, Antarctic sandstone. It's uh, most uh, approximately area in the Earth related to Mars or near to Mars condition. Uh, lunar uh, analogous and uh, sulfatic Mars regulus simulant and phyllosilicatic uh, Mars regulus simulant to mimic two distinct uh, Martian soil composition. The fungus, the fungus would grow for three months at uh, 15 Celsius degree. The next uh, part of this experiment, this experiment is going to be the exposure process. The exposure process started in 18 of uh, August 2014 till uh, 3rd of February uh, 2016, which approximately 696 uh, days. Uh, we exposed the samples uh, to, to different uh, conditions, uh, like Mars-like conditions and uh, uh, space uh, vacuum, and different levels of radiation, uh, variable from uh, 120 20 nanometer till 200 uh, nanometer. And uh, in the uh, right side of the slide, we're going to see the assessment of the DNA damage uh, on uh, uh, cryomycete anthracis. Uh, by a fingerprint, total fingerprint DNA, we're gonna notice that there is no change from the uh, control sample and the sample who exposed to space condition. And that's it. In conclusion, uh, we talked today about uh, salinity and how fungus adapt and the different fungus species and the regulus and its type, uh, astrobiology and astromycology. And I would like to elaborate a little about astromycology. As uh, astromycology have a lot of benefits. I used to uh, think that uh, black fungus is just the disease, but when I start this project and uh, I read a lot, I found that scientists and researchers are thinking that we, maybe one day we can build like a shield or make a shield from black fungus to protect the people who are have and radiation uh, therapy uh, from cancer disease or for astronauts and it maybe also could be beneficial for uh, change uh, for converted the energy uh, the gamma rays radiation into chemical energy uh, also uh, nowadays they use uh, fungus uh, that are tolerated to salinity uh, to assist plants uh, in soil uh, to grow in soil 
uh, salty soils. And at the end, I want to uh, thank Dr. Marta, as uh, I have edited this presentation like a thousand times uh, in the last three days. Uh, and uh, if each time she reviewed it and gave me a comment, Dr. Andre and my teammates, Blue Marble uh, team, uh, last recommendation, if you have never heard about uh, astromic Mycology, Dr. Marta's last publication is the relevance of fungi in astrobiology research. Astromycology uh, is a very wonderful documentary. If you are uh, someone who never, never read anything about astromycology, it would be very beneficial for you. So uh, please do it and read this paper. If anyone has any questions. Sorry for being very fast, but actually uh, my brother was traveling for six years and uh, suddenly I found his knocking my door right now. So uh, I'm just oh, that's trying entirely to... Fine. That's entirely fine. We, we totally understand the need to go, go speak with him. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful job, Amira.